still. See so black. Imagine 80 miles an hour. Bah! This is going to be uh, hopefully a quick little zen in Kempo about punching to the head. Can I borrow a bat? Uh, I didn't say you can't punch to the head, but I am going to point out something. For those of you who remember the legendary Mike Tyson, you can look it up on the internet yourself. He punched somebody, uh, Mitch Green, and he hairlined, fractured his wrist. So I want to point out something. The heavyweight champ in the world, that if you remember how vicious Tyson was, he punched someone's skull and he hurt his own wrist and he fractured it. Okay, hairline fractured it, be exact. All right, that should give you pause for thought. That punching the head is very dicey. All right, and especially the, the part here which is designed to protect the brain, that's like hitting a coconut. Take a coconut, punch it, and see how it feels. All right, the front, a little better, but still. Okay, not that great. For instance, a punch of the teeth, if he's on guard, right? And I slip a punch of the teeth. What do you think the teeth are designed to do? They chew meat. <laughs> They're strong, okay? Uh, you can look it up on the internet, but you'll find punching the teeth usually ends up with some seriously ripped up bones or knuckles or whatever. So, again, you may break his teeth, but you've got a limp hand now. <clears throat> That's really not the best way to defend yourself. Okay, now the punch of the flat's okay. But let's now talk about if we're going to hit the head. What is much better and gives you much more bang for your buck? Palm. Palm to the nose. Okay. Palm right there to the nose. That could get a lot of results. My old mentor, when we used to spar, he would just go like that. Back fist right on the bridge of my nose and that would make my eyes water and I'd fall down. Okay. So palm. Now. This is one strike that I think would be better than a punch to the head. And that would be, we used to call it a willow palm. Okay, okay, it's a, it's a palm, feel that? Yes, sir. Right to the eardrum. You really want to rock his head. Ooh, am I going hard? No. But it's putting pressure into the head, pop the eardrum, may get a brain problem, okay? Uh, I can't, this alone, I'd rather do this, feel that? Yes, sir. I'm hitting, look, I'm hitting like this, but I'm creating a little bit of a suction cup, we used to call it a willow palm. Never mind, same time. You've got some serious damage. Now, what else? Nothing's better to hurt and injure the body, I'm sorry, the head, than right in the eyes, okay? Instant self-defense, okay? You want to kind of hit the eye, hit towards here and slide into the eye, slide up the cheek. That's the best way to do it without hurting your fingers. All right, I remember one of my old masters saying, I'd rather poke the eye than punch him in the face any day. So these strikes can get twice the, twice the results. And I know in karate we have, the guy comes in with a step through punch. Could you show him the old traditional hands and elbow, half open, hey, they happen to punch and you go to the side. Nobody's gonna fight like that. You should know that, right? He knows that. I don't. Nobody comes in like that in a fight, okay? And if he punches like that, of course he's still, he stays still so it's easy, but in a fight, he's moving, I'm moving. If I make, yeah, look at that. Could you go like that again? I make him a, no, move your head that way. I make him a, ah, and I hit, I hit the skull, I'll break, a, I'll, I could break my, I could break my wrist. Well, like Mike Tyson caused a hairline fracture. That should, uh, that should, that should make you think. Okay, so I just want to point that out. 
I'll give you one other thing with a punch to the head, and he knows what's going on, <laughs> that you get incredible results, is this. I hit the air against the skull. I don't want to do it again, it hurts, but look. I just did this. My knuckles are hitting the air and hitting it against, against, it's not the slap, the slap is more of a suction vacuum, a suction cup. This is a, sideways a little this way. So can you see his ear? Yeah, you can see it. Imagine, especially on a cold, crisp winter day. <laughs> you ever get hit in the air on a, on a oh, flicked in the air on the winter day, right? We used to do that to each other when we were kids at the bus stop. Very painful. All right, so let's let, wrap up the lesson. Did I say you can't hit the head? Did I say that? No. no. Just, it's very dicey, and the chances of you breaking or hurting your own wrist is very high. Okay, but a slap to the end. Palm to the head. Eye flick. Very, 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 very damaging, and less chance of you hurting your wrist or knuckles. Punching to the body, hold us, hold a whole nother story. Okay, you, there's nothing, you can't beat a liver punch. We're gonna talk about that and other things, but there's no way. You can hit all parts of the body, but a good liver punch takes about a three to four seconds to kick in. Next thing you know, you just, it sucks the life right out of you. We'll talk about that later. But anyways, all right, but in life, head's moving, make the wrong move, you break a knuckle. All right, punching the head bad, slapping good, palm good, eye poke good. I don't want to hit his ear again. <laughs> excellent. Body punching, excellent. Punching the head. Okay, thank you. Something to think about. I want to repeat, I did not say you can't punch the head. A good, experienced boxer should be able to pull off a couple of good strikes. But even that, I'll have to go back to our beginning. Mike Tyson fractured his wrist punching somebody in a real fight. All right, so we're going to end it with that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tip and you learned a few new strikes. And we'll be back on another tip later.